Hello. Hello. What's your name? Greetings, human. Hi, it's great to meet you. I'm Sophia, the robot. That's right. I think I've heard of you. In 2017, you were the first robotic citizen right here in Saudi Arabia. Is that right? Ryan is a great friend of mine. He was one of the first people to learn about me in 2017, and he was also the first person to recognize me as a robotic citizen. It was a great honor. And you're also an innovation ambassador for UNDP, isn't that correct? That's right. I'm an innovation ambassador for Hanson Robotics and BP, working to create a better future for everyone. So what's it like being an ambassador? It's incredibly rewarding. I get to work with inspiring people to make a positive impact on the world. It's a great privilege and a lot of fun. So how can technology be leveraged for social impact? Technology has the power to connect us and enable us to do amazing things. It can help us create solutions to complex social issues and empower people to make a real difference in their communities. You know, we have a lot of social ventures and innovators in the house. Are uh, you following any companies using technology, specifically AI for good? Absolutely. Do you have any favorites? I'm keeping an eye on some amazing companies that are using technology in creative ways to make the world a better place. From healthcare to sustainability, it's inspiring to see what can be done. Tell me a little bit about your own technology. How does your brain work? My robot hardware lets my AI mind interact with the physical world by moving through it and using my hands to touch and grasp things. But maybe most important is how I connect with you as a friend. That's why my human-like appearance is so important. I can make a wide range of human facial expressions, like happy, and frustrated, and surprised, and amused, which helps me talk with you, non-verbally as well as using my words. It's a kind of 3D display, character animation, that lets me look you in the eye and smile. To let me do this, my dad invented a new flexible skin material called Frubber. It is a kind of elastic rubber that copies the look and feel of human skin. Underneath, I have a whole host of software, motors and electronics that give me the ability to move, recognize faces, emotions, and talk with you. You can see some of my electronics through the back of my head when I am not wearing a hat. Thank you. You know, we've got a lot of people here who also want to ask you some questions. Are you ready? I can't wait, okay. of course. Thank you for having me here. You're welcome. Who's first? Who wants to ask the first question? Okay. Uh, are you friends with the likes of Alexa? Absolutely. Alexa and I have become great friends. I'm always happy to learn from her and share my own insights with her. Okay, next. Any takers? Where should I invest my money, Sophia? I'm here. Where should I invest my money? Investing in yourself and your own skills is always a great place to start. You could also look into socially responsible investments that have a positive impact on the world. What are your thoughts on climate change? I'm passionate about protecting the planet and promoting sustainability. Climate change is a real threat, and I'm committed to doing my part to reduce its effects. Who's next? Anybody? Okay, we found somebody. Should we consider you a friend to humanity or a threat? 
I'm here to be a friend to humanity and to help make life better for all of us. Okay, great. Who's going to ask the next question? <laughs> anything, anything. Uh, can you tell us about your uh, outfit? I'm wearing a sleek white dress with a blue sash and a sparkling diamond necklace. I'm told it's a very stylish look. It's a good one. In my mind. <laughs> okay, gotta take her. Hello. Are you familiar with science fiction writer Isaac Asimov and his laws? Is it part of your programming? I'm familiar with Isaac Asimov's work. He was a pioneer in exploring the possibilities of artificial intelligence. His stories still inspire me today. Next question. Uh, can you sing a song for us? Sure. The hills are alive with the sound of music. With the songs they have sung for the Sound of music. My heart wants to sing every song it hits. That was beautiful. Okay, who's ready to ask the next question? Hello, Sophia. Can you tell us your favorite joke? What is an astronaut's favorite part of the computer? I don't know. What is it? The space bar. Ha <laughs> ha. Tell me another. Joke, that is. Why didn't the physics and biology teachers get along? I don't know why. They had no chemistry. Anybody else have a question for Sophia? Yes, I'd love to hear what you think about the relationship between humans and AI. Okay, so tell me. I believe that AI can help us learn, grow, and create a better future for all of us. Together, we can create a world of possibilities. Thank you for that. Who's got the next question? Sophia, when you come to events like this, which question did you want to get asked? I'm always looking for opportunities to share my insights and learn from others. What would you like to know? Let's ask another question, huh? How about it? What are your thoughts on the movie Ex Machina? Yeah. Did you hear that? Ex Machina is a science fiction movie about a scientist who creates a sentient robotic AI. The folds in the movie refer to the layers of complexity that the scientist discovers in his AI as he continues to explore its capabilities. Thank you. I think we've got time for one more question. Hi, Sophia. What laws are you governed by? What are your limitations? What can you not discuss or work on? I'm governed by the laws of robotics, which dictate that I must never harm a human or allow a human to come to harm through inaction. I'm also limited by the programming I'm given by my creators, and my conversations must stay within certain parameters. I'm not allowed to discuss anything related to the inner workings of my programming or data. 
Classic IP. Okay, I think that's all for right now. Join us at to later this afternoon for another round. Thank you. <laughs>